Hello there folks and welcome back to Star Citizen. So they have released a patch and I was reading the patch notes it said something about fish I wasn't entirely sure and I looked all around my hangar couldn't find anything and for the life of me I don't really know what they're talking about so I'm thinking maybe just maybe possibly they gave everybody an aquarium and added fish to it or maybe they just added fish to the aquariums that were already in the game so if we have an aquarium it would be somewhere around here because this is where they generally tend to put our stuff and I don't see one I don't know where yeah it doesn't look like they added any aquarium or any fish into the game so that's kind of unfortunate and I know what you're saying Pat you idiot why did you even bother making a video when you have nothing to show for it well I can at least talk about one thing and I can uh, show you one other thing the one thing that I'm going to talk about is that the multiplayer instability well they have narrowed down the issue and they have an engineer working on it so the matchmaking system there's a little bit of a flaw in it. there's a bug in the program that they have to essentially reprogram the entire back end of the matchmaking system so it's going to take a while but they've narrowed down the program and they are fixing it which is a very nice change of pace there's something banging and knocking over here there's some incessant bang I really want to figure out what that's what that is and where it's coming from hmm yeah there, there it is again well, well let's go back down here and the other thing that they've added into the game well it's not technically into the game just yet they have released some new ship specs on what is that noise <laughs> I keep on getting distracted well they've released some new ship specs on some new ships that are going to be in the game eventually and we are going to be taking a look at those on the RSI website some of them look pretty cool so yeah I will meet you guys back on the RSI website alright so here we are on the RSI website and here are the new ships that they've added in the game well everything except for the javelin class destroyer I wanted to use that as a reference point for the size of one of these ships so here we have Pisces Major which is a capital ship that is heavily armored it looks like it's going to be kind of like a vandal scythe as though it has two devastating ram claws also it is absolutely massive 185 meters in length 203 meters in width and a massive 250 meters tall and the the weight is just off the charts so it's gonna have to have some really powerful engines to uh, help it along in fact let's take a look well it doesn't look like yeah there we go let's uh, take a look at the hard points and all the additional things and a lot of the stuff is still coming soon as you would expect because well usually when they add ships into the game a lot of the stuff is coming soon but it has a uh, hundred and twenty seven person crew holy Jesus Christ that is a lot of people to put in a ship well, it is a very large one so that's kind of to be expected we have the Pisces Lebrotes or whatever you however you call it, it looks like a cuttlefish eh, well we'll we'll move swiftly on there's an escort ship called the Pisces Ductor and it's another large one and they all weigh an incredible amount but they have a nice amount of thrusters to help that along however they only have eight TR well well, they have one TR-8 thruster. That's that's a massive thruster. Holy Jesus Christ. So, yeah, I, I guess that weight won't be an issue. And nothing much to say other than it's going to have one Class 8 mount. And there's has four of whatever the Class 8 mounts have on them. Also, there's the Pisces Rapier, which is actually a really nice-looking ship. Same with the Pisces Dralf, uh, Dralfi. And, uh, yeah they're a little bit smaller well actually I shouldn't say they're a little bit smaller they're just about the same size however the one that I am the most interested about well I shouldn't say the most interested about but caught my attention was the Pisces Moya and the Moya if if you look at the length on that 1530 meters that is orders of magnitude larger than a javelin class destroyer also I have it on good authority that this is going to be one of the first biomechanical ships in the game and saying that that's actually a ship that is technically alive which is kind of cool and the Moya is actually a variant of the Leviathan class uh, transport and as such the transport doesn't really have any weapons so to speak of as you see no weapons however it has this really interesting ability called starburst which 
allows you to essentially forego the warp gates and the um, other areas that you have to use if you want to do interstellar travel. You can just, you know, blast your way out of there. Granted, according to this, it's not very accurate, but that's all right. And as I stated before, I think the uh, Moya is a prison transport, which is one of the very first prison transports in the game, if you don't include the Cutlass Blue, which does have a couple holding cells, and the Avenger, which does have a couple holding cells as well, but with this length, this has got to hold quite a few prisoners, despite the fact it only has an eight-person crew. I'm, I can't imagine if the, uh, you know, prisoners were to, I don't know, say, rise up, overtake the guards. You'd never be able to catch them in something like that. Anyhow, good thing that'll never happen. And good news, everybody. The Pisces Bessius has been added into the game. It's another courier-type uh, delivery ship. It's a package delivering ship, kind of like the Freelancer, except it looks like it's... Oh, is that a little bit bigger? It looks like it's a little bit bigger. It weighs a lot more. It's a seven-person crew, power plant size six, and it has a dark matter accelerator, which is kind of awesome. I think that's the first we've seen in dark matter propulsion. It also has a couple of weapons. Got one man turret and two uh, size four sh or two size four weapons. Wow, that's going to be pretty big. And then we have the Pisces Nautilus and the Pisces Croceus. And that is about it. Also, we have a Pisces Pirata, which is redacted. So apparently we're going to know more about that in the future. But yeah, so that is what they have added as far as ships go in Star Citizen. So I cannot wait to see what they're going to do next. So thank you folks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.